I am standing here with head coach Patrick Chambers. We're practicing at Villanova's Pavilion. Uh, coach, first, uh, your thoughts uh, looking back at the Northeastern game? I thought um, I thought we competed. I thought we had a couple lapses in early, uh, well, in the first half, uh, late in the first half, and Chase on Allen got it going a little bit. And we made some adjustments in the second half, and I thought we did a really good job. We held them to like 27, 28 uh, percent defensive field goal percentage, which is great for us. Uh, we got to work on rebounding, and you know it's not going to come overnight. Got a lot of guys who are just getting to know each other, and that's what it looked like out there. It looked like sometimes there's three guys together, two guys on an island, and uh, today we, we tried to put some things in motion for these guys to get to know each other a little bit better, a little team bonding. And obviously, uh, you start the season with the big rival, and now it's not going to get any easier uh, participating in the NIT uh, tip-off. Uh, your thoughts behind having a, such a s tough start uh, to the season with uh, some good opponents? I, I think you can teach a lot of lessons right now. Um, I, we, I want a tough schedule. These kids want a tough schedule. Uh, I think it's going to prepare us for the league, which is extremely tough. Um, Northeastern is a great challenge. They're going to do some things in that league this year. I guarantee it. Um, playing GW, we're one in 17, uh, but we're up to the challenge, and I think we got better today. We got better yesterday watching some film, and hopefully we take a step forward tomorrow. Win or lose on, on Tuesday, we got to just keep getting better, keep competing, finding out who we are, and hopefully we'll keep continue to answer the questions that we have. Can you make any comparisons to participating in this uh, compared to Puerto Rico last year? Well, absolutely. I mean, we came down uh, to Sunday, and uh, we're trying to do some things, some team things to keep these guys together. And, you know, we all act like we know each other, but um, we're going to continue to do a little bit more to, uh, to get to know each other better. And uh, if we can do that and bond a little bit more, I think you'll start to see that on the floor. It all starts in the locker room. Every time you, you see the San Francisco Giants win the championship or the Red Sox or, or whoever it may be, they all talk about the locker room and how the locker room was great and these guys love each other. Well, we need to build that. We need to build that love for one another. And then uh, finally, how bad do you want to play Villanova on Wednesday? <laughs> you know what? It doesn't really matter to me. I only think about the next game. Um, it's great to be here. It's great to be home. Uh, it almost you know, it almost feels like I never left. Um, but this is a great challenge. It's great to be back. And if we're fortunate enough to play Villanova, that's great. But if not, I'm just I'm worried about GW, and then we'll worry about the next game after that. Well, actually, and there's one other game coming up, uh, the home opener on Friday. Uh, how psyched are you to uh, be able to come back and uh, open the open the roof. Now, if you ask me, should we start more home games in the season? I would say yes. I mean, it seems like every year we start on the road and uh, they're always tough tasks. So uh, I can't wait to get home. I can't wait to get to our gym. I can't wait to get to our rims so our guys feel a little bit more comfortable. And uh, hopefully all the fans will come out. We'll have a packed house. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a great night, great Friday night for BU and the community and the students. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Scott.